Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module that's going to give us control of our screen on time. We can set a low screen off time, basically you can have it disable the screen right away at 15 seconds, but on certain applications that you select, we'll be able to keep the screen on as long as you'd like, or as long as it's in the foreground. So let's check it out. Today we're going to take a look at a module that's called Just In Time screen on. It's actually called JIT screen on. So JIT is just in time screen on. You check the box, restart the device, version is 2.1. Once you install it, you're able to specify certain applications that are able to keep the screen on whenever they're in the foreground. Right now I have Google Play Music and I have Google Play Store. Uh, you're able to add more by going to the plus sign. It's going to aggregate all the applications that you have. The one thing you want to keep in mind is once you select an application, it will bring it directly to the top so that you know all the active ones at the top. And if you uncheck it, it goes back to where it normally is. Of course, you can filter. You can actually make it much easier to find things that you'd like. And then once you have them in, they'll be in here. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, it says this is a free 30-day trial. That is correct. After 30 days, it's about a dollar and five cents to actually activate the full version. Uh, but if you definitely enjoy this and you find this functional, please support the developer. Uh, once we do this, the other thing I wanted to show you guys here just as a default, if I go into my settings tab, I'm going to bring this up here. Um, I have my screen timeout right now set to 15 seconds. So if I don't touch my screen within 10 to 15 seconds, it is going to dim and it's going to go to sleep. And that's one of the things I kind of don't want to do here. I want to make sure that I give the ability to my device to stay on. You notice it started to dim. I can go home. But if I go into the Play Store, and this is just normal, I already activated it. It loads the Play Store directly. It doesn't use wake locks to be able to control it. But what it does essentially is once it recognizes that this application is in the foreground, uh, it could be a reading application, it could be a Kindle application, it could be a, um, even just a, a you know regular Google Drive. It will not go into sleep mode. And you notice it still has the regular brightness on it. It doesn't go away. It doesn't make the device go to sleep. Um, and it's been about 10 seconds. We're just going to a little bit more conversation. I'm not touching the screen, so I'm not engaging it. The only thing that's keeping it on is this exposed module. Um, it is compatible with Lollipop. I have it installed on uh, directly right now on my system. So again, it's been over 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, and we can go home. And if I let the device just sit here for another 10 seconds or so, it's going to dim and it's going to go to sleep. Uh, and that's really the beauty of this module. Keep your screen on for whenever you want it. And you don't have to have it plugged in to have all that functionality. As you guys saw with the hands-on, it's pretty simple from the sense of what it does. You can select the applications that you'd like to be able to add directly within the application itself or the module itself. And of course, as you notice in the notification, as I was going from one screen to the other, it automatically gives you the functionality to say, hey, would you like to keep this screen on? If you open anything from your notification panel, it automatically activates itself. So you have the ability of using that functionality. The other thing is, of course, if you're going through different options, it's asking you for things that normally don't have it. But if you go into an application, let's say you pre-select such as Google Play or Google Play Store in this example that I showed you guys, the screen doesn't come on and that's basically because it knows it needs to keep it on. And it keeps the screen on for as long as you like. Um, it doesn't use wake clocks. It doesn't actually try to basically activate things that you did not activate. So that's the main benefit of this. A simple module. It is a trial version. Unfortunately, it's a 30-day trial that gives us the ability to test it out and see if this is something that's functional for us. And I'm sure at the end of the 30 days, you'll be more than happy if you like the service or the module itself uh, to support the developer, of course, and check out the link at the bottom of the actual app itself. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, I was supposed to do for you guys a what's on my device exposed mods this week. Uh, I'm still working on that list. I want to basically give you guys a much better video than just showing you exactly a basic set of things that I have. Um, so uh, like and subscribe, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and hopefully that video will be up next Tuesday for you know another Exposed Tuesday.